All right, I just wanted to do a little update on the videos today. Usually on Getting Dirty with Glenn, you see a lot of videos of beautiful Lake Michigan when I'm riding my bike down there. You might see me kayaking Horicon Marsh. Um, you might see me hiking with my son Jason and granddaughter Brooklyn. And the whole purpose of this brand, I guess, of Getting Dirty with Glenn is to get people outside to help with their mental and physical health. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that my wife Cheryl passed away in January of 2023 after a two-year journey with stage four cancer. Um, it was beyond devastating. Um, I worked with hospice uh, counselors after she passed away, but they were younger people that have not lost a spouse. I tried working with a professional counselor. Same thing, she was in her late 20s didn't understand the loss of your spouse. And maybe there's some counselors out there that are really good, but I think unless you've experienced it, as our parents have told us for a thousand years, until you've walked a mile in someone's shoes, you don't know how they feel. And last year I was numb, I took the year off, I just rode my bike, tried to deal with what was going on, and um, I thought I was doing good. And this year it was just actually tougher in times. That's what I want people to understand. People go, oh, it'll get better, it, it'll, you know, things will improve. I've learned that I have good days and I have learning days. And the good days are when I'm feeling pretty normal. And then learning days are when it comes back and goes, well, I didn't think that would affect me that way. And you never know what it's going to be. So I just want to do a little video and just say, you know, you got to get out. For me, I found getting outside. Doesn't do me any good to sit in the house. I'm back working for clients now. I'm started building a content creation business aspect of our my business because I'm certified drone pilot and over the years I've gotten really good with uh, all kinds of camera and audio. So I'm getting back to that work. Um, but my father, who died just a couple months short of his 98th birthday, never was sick, was still driving, still managing his money, doing his own thing in assisted living. Um, but he was always active. I always remember him running from the time he was in his 50s. He would leave his office. He owned a small company. Uh, he would leave his office, go to the Y, and run, lead a running group along the Rock River down in Illinois. And then he'd come home, and he and my mom played golf all the time. They were always active. And more importantly, I never saw my, uh, like all my cousins, and you know who you are, all my cousins uh, love my dad. Because he's, he was always, he was always happy. He was always happy. And and you'd think only in a small business, he only had three or four employees. You'd think he'd be stressful, but I never saw him stressed a day in his life. He was always joking around. He wasn't the obnoxious person at the party or at the family gathering. He was just funny. He was always joking, goofing around, loved playing golf, loved hiking, leading Boy Scouts. He was always active. <clears throat> and this year, I've had a few times where it's been tougher for me than last year that have ended up with me going to the emergency room or to urgent care just because of stress. And I think stress will kill you before any other disease out there because it in turn stresses every organ in your body. Um, like I said, my dad never had any, any health issues for his entire 98 years. Um, I literally joked about maybe uh, hemorrhoid surgery back in the day, um, and he had to sit on a donut. But other than that, my dad was just jovial. So I do post a lot of things on here where I'm out having fun, I'm riding my bike, whether it's my uh, cat tractor coming sitting right here behind me. I don't know if the camera will follow me down there. Or my truck mountain bike that's behind me back here. Well, this past weekend, I went on two hikes with my son and granddaughter, total, I think, three, three and a half miles. Um, and it's good. It's good. I've learned, Cheryl and I always asked the question, uh, we learned from when we walked on fire with Tony Robbins, that no matter whether it's a flat tire you're having, you got fired from a job, your, excuse me, your cake got burnt, the question you should always ask yourself is, what's great about this? Um, 
or and in tough situations, what could be great about this? And when your spouse dies, that's a tough question. What could be great about, or what's great about this? What's great about it is that I've learned more about myself in the last two years than I have in the last 67 years before that. Um, I've also, because we are so active, uh, walking 10 to 20,000 steps average a day, five days a week working for clients. Michelle got sick, we cut back to just two clients. Uh, Cheryl wanted to keep working because her concept was what I'm supposed to do, just sit home and wait to die. So between cutting back and I didn't cut my, my food intake back, over the last four years since her diagnosis, I've gained like 30 pounds. Okay, 35. Mm, all right, somewhere around there. I don't think it's 40, but it's a, it's a strong 30. It's a strong 30. Cheryl's a great cook. And I also had some great cooking experiences working for top restaurants when I was in college. So cooking is not the problem for me. Shutting the pie hole and sweets. Uh, you know, I've been a vegetarian for 24 years, and that's a whole other story. And nothing to drink but water for 24 years. We can all eat too many carbs, and portion control is an issue. So today, I got back on track working out with Christy at the Y, personal trainer. One day a week, she we look like Mutt and Jeff. She's four foot eleven. I'm six foot four. She might weigh ninety pounds. She's a competitive bodybuilder, um, and I am not. I have the same body style as Michael Phelps, uh, thirty-two inch inseam. Even though I'm six foot four, I think his is thirty-one, and he's six foot four. Um, but I don't have the six pack or the gold medal, so we're working on that. Today was stage one of doing that. But I just want to stop back and talk some reality. There. Are days where I feel normal and there are days where I do not and it's going in on almost two years it's been uh, like 22 23 months but um, that's what getting dirty is get dirty get outside work in your garden uh, as Cheryl's orthopedic surgeon said when he replaced her knee a couple years before her diagnosis and any doctor will tell you this motion is lotion so get out there get on a bike if you like to walk uh, if you like to swim, I like to swim laps. If you like to play pickleball, just do something. Don't sit home, watch the Weather Channel, and please don't watch the news. <laughs> um, got an election tomorrow, but uh, I haven't watched local or national news for about 10 years now. That, too, is another story. I do get my news, but not from the talking heads. All right, that's it. This is Glenn with... Uh, uh, getting Dirty with Glenn, I, that is my name, I had to think about that for a second. Just uh, trying to keep it real in here and let you know what's going on. All right, uh, remember to lead with love and kindness.